Hi, back again, folks. Now, I'm just starting to mark and layer my pages. And I'm still using the Bow Bunny Primrose line. So I've done these two, and I'm using wet glue. I'm using the Yoohoo All Purpose. Um, I just put it in a wee dish, and I'm using a brush just to put it on. Um, so I'll get cracking again. Um, and I'm just picking the pages at random. I'm not going for anything set in stone. And with the glue, I'm really just going round the outside and putting a wee bit in between. Making sure there's plenty on the outside, so because obviously that's where it's getting handled most. Um, and the possibility of it coming away the most. This glue does dry really quickly, so you need to kind of work fast. And what I'm doing is just trimming after it's on. So over now and I'll turn it that way because this is my inside line. I'm just smoothing it down in my hand quite firm with them. Try and get out any bubbles that are there. And then what I'm doing is just trimming around it. Even if it's a wee bit damp, I'm just doing it as I go along. Because I just find it easier that way. Just like fold back the wee hinges that are there. And just get a blowing hold of the thing. There we go. And I'm just going along here. I'm trying to be as close to the hinge as I possibly can. You're almost cut and blind when it's on a hinge. I can't even see really there. Yeah. That's fine, I'm alright with that. And then just along the top. And just with a wee bit overhang there. And I've noticed that there's a wee bit up here that's a bit dry. So I'm just going to go back in with a wee bit of glue and make sure that stays put. And then on to the next one. And these bits of paper that you're trimming off, don't throw them out because you can use them as um, embellishment on other parts of the album. Obviously the wee slithers you can use as um, belly bands or borders so you can keep them as well. My advice is get a wee box or a wee baggie and just put all your extra bits in that. Oh, sorry, it's my glossy accents. Um, I'm going with I'm going to spin there. And 
and as I said, they are all from the same paper line, so they will all match. The centre part I'm not really that fussed with. As long as I've a wee bit to hold it, it's fine. And with this one, I'm going to try and do the hinge first and wheel that join in. And then come back and just flat it down. I'm just use my thumb down the side to make sure it's well glued down. And again, I'm just going to go in and trim it. Overhanging ever so slightly, that's cool. I really like that paper line, it's really pretty. So that's your hinge, and the hinge you can put your paper line down later if you wish. Um, but being white, I'm not too bothered with it now. So I'm going to once I'm trying to think. Need to know what I'm going to glue that bit down now. But I'm going to use um, double sided tape for it. Um, because no one's going to see inside the pocket, but what I will do is I'm going to add a wee strip to either side, just to, if anyone does see the beginning of it, they'll think the whole thing's been papered. So that's just going down here. And just make sure it's really well stuck down because if it's a pocket and there's things getting slid in and out of um chances are Something's going to get caught or um, you know what I mean. It's just not going to come in and out as easily. So I'm just putting that down there. Along the hand. I'm just using my finger. 
make sure it's stuck down right. And it just means, as I said, when folk are going to go into the pocket, you can, as much as they'll see in, they'll see a wee bit of paper. And this bottom part, I think I'm going to need to trim a wee section off of that because it's just a tiny wee bit longer. But this is me just being pedantic. And I'm only taking it up to the hinge because this is your um, fold up, your flip up. So no one's going to see that at all. Right. I'm going to just stick down here the pocket. Fold it in. And this part is getting folded over. Come up. As I said, it's not super glue that tape. And just stick it there in there. And then it's just a matter of that coming down and getting stuck down. And I'm just going to burnish that really well to make sure it's not going anywhere. So that should pop up. Um, here's my punch. Yeah. I should have done this first, but I forgot. I'm just going to cut a wee notch out if I can. There we go. That's just a wee notch for them to get. Got um, items in and out. Right, so that's that side done. Then we've just got to do this side. This is a flip up back. It does go through a fair amount of paper, but um, I would rather it's done right and matches than be scrimpy with it.
Right, so once again, going in from the hinge, and I'll use my straight edge that's not been taken out of the book. I'm just making sure that it's stuck in properly. I'm going to do them in here. And the pages are working slightly, but I'm hoping that will sort itself out as it dries. It's not massively working. Um, and then my last page, and then we'll get it embellished. In fact, to make it a photo mat on it. So I want the embellishing right away. I'll do the photo mat as part of this. And I know it doesn't look like it, but there is a fair amount of glue going on there. Just because it's clear. It's a bit more difficult to see. Okay. Right, see how that goes. And as I said, if there's any bits that are loose with glue, I can touch them up later. I have got a small glue pen. Um, in fact, I've got a few, but the one that I use the most is my Sailor Tune one. So I'm just going to take that off now. That's the piece there. That's the page. Pocket there. Flip over. Flip up. And open up. So I think that's all right for one page. I think that's a fair. I'm going to need to neaten that up, it's doing that and you'll see just ever so slightly that it's not um, 
level. So I need to stop it because it will annoy me. And I'm just using my heavy scissors for it. See that it's not millions of miles out. But it's enough out that I've noticed it. Much better. As I said, I don't care if it's not exact. Each page is matching exactly as long as each page is level with itself. Right, so I need a photo map. So I'm going to get a bit of 1ml chipboard. Hmm. Right, so now I just need to remember I've got double sided tape in there as well. So I'm just going to need to chalk and hope for the best. Right, make sure that it's straight one way. Right, so it's 10 width. So if I make that 9 and a half, that means that you'll be able to see it at the the notch that I've took out, but it's not going to be um, coming out the other side. Right, then we'll go. It's meant to be 14 and a half. So if I take this down to 13 and a half and see how we go. Might still need to take a wee bit off at 13 and a half, but we'll see. As I said, I would rather have too much and take off than not enough and keep going. <laughs> I want to do it again. There we go, that's that off. Right, we'll see if this fits in first. No, it doesn't. Not even nearly. So I'm going to take another centimetre off. A centimetre and a half off just because my blade flipped and it wasn't straight. Right, I'm going to make, take some more off the width as well, a wee bit. Fits, but I'm going to take a tiny wee bit off the width. I'll take a wee centimetre off the width of it.
Frustrated at times with my bloody eyes. That's nice. I'll do that with that. I'm going to add a little strip of water into this actually. It's starting to dry up a bit. So for the Martin layer I want to make sure that this is really well stuck down because that will be getting pulled out once. Well, One side of that done. And I'm just going to pop it back over and glue it back. Then I'm going to put it on the old one.
Going as near to the the edge of the cannon. That seems where when I'm down. Now I'm going to let that dry and then I'll distress the edges before I'll just like add it in. And there's a possibility I might add a brad here so that it's easy to pull in and out where the notches. But anyway, I'm going to let you go and I will go on with the rest of my pages. Um, and I'll come back when I'm ready to embellish. Alright, thanks for watching, bye for now.